right, so how is everyone's day going? Uh, this is my review for Paper The Paper Tigers. It is a adventure comedy. And it is was released on May 7th in select theaters and streaming services uh, after 10 years of making. Uh, it stars, and, and ahead of time, as you know, I when it comes to foreign names, I tend to screw them up. So you, you must apologize, as always. Um, or I must apologize, not you. <laughs> uh, it stars Alan Yui, uh, Michael Shannon Jenkins, Matt Page, Ron Ewan, and Roger Newton. Uh, the plot of it is, is three martial artists notorious in their prime as the Three Tigers that have grown into middle-aged men, but after their teacher mur was murdered, uh, their teacher was murdered, one teacher, uh, they must juggle dead and jobs, dad duties, and old grudges to revenge his death. Uh, this was written and directed by Boa Tran, who was born in Olympia, Washington, started out filming short martial art films in his backyard and grew up from there. And grew up from there. This was a shot in Washington for a small budget of $1 million. Uh, as a Washingtonian, I really love my state-based movies and TV shows a lot, so I kind of tend to be a little bit biased, but I'm going to be completely honest here. I was, uh, however mixed on the trailer for this movie um but you know i did definitely like the movie uh first off the bat the comedy was a little above low bro uh blo brow it's the word i'm looking for brow humor didn't really have me laughing that much through uh the movie wasn't bad did it did fit very well into the story, it re um, there was an uh, there was unfortunately a an annoyance with the other character, a white guy who plays um, apparently some sort of small TV martial arts comedy show he's known for, and I didn't recognize him because he didn't have a mustache. But if you if you know what I'm talking about, it's this one, uh, this guy. Um, I believe his name, I said, was Matt Page. Uh, I believe I saw someone react to, or a couple people react to it. It's a whole bunch of different uh, self-defense nutshots type of compilation, I believe. I haven't seen it in years. Um, but that's, that's him, and I, I, you know, I thought his character was a bit, um, over-the-top cringy, to be honest. He, he believes he was a Asian guy, um, kind of a lot of, uh, jokes around that. There was definitely jokes in general around, um, kind of race stuff. It wasn't like over the top, kind of in your face, but there was definitely some thrown in there, which was fun. I don't have a problem with it. I thought it was very well done, uh, wise, um. He does. He definitely was an over cocky person. That was the other thing. Um, his comedy is definitely, if you if you've seen anything he's been in, was definitely different from uh, the other characters in here. Um, quality wasn't bad. Better than what I was expecting, but still a little average, uh, which is not always a bad thing. I will say the way the master was killed, I wasn't buying it. Um, it was a little bit like he, because he wasn't being touched uh, uh, physically. So it was kind of odd, even for kind of this martial art magic type of thing. Um, usually the ones that I've seen that are in real life that say are true are obviously a bit fetched, but they actually evolved actual touching. And this evolved the heart. So, uh, I did love the feeling of the movie, of the story. Very smooth. Not overdone shots. Well done lines. Well done back and forth between all the characters. A very solid matching between comedy and seriousness, seriousness in the story. Um, 
I thought I loved the acting and chemistry between the three actors made me feel like they loved each other, but still a little uh, conflict between them from the past 30 years. Uh, overall, I really enjoyed myself way more than I thought I was going to with this film. Uh, yeah, definitely really enjoyed it. It's definitely between a family film and just a RT adult film. Uh, definitely not a whole lot of overdone stuff to it, like shots and, and gimmicks and stuff, other than that one guy. Uh, I definitely... I found myself really, really loving the movie. Uh, I When I was going into this, I was thinking it was going to be something bad, but then I saw the reviews, uh, which doesn't necessarily mean anything, but I saw the reviews and they were all positive for the most part. Um, I definitely did really, really uh, enjoy the movie. Um, there's really not much else to say. This is a non-spoiler view, but uh, here's my rating. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought of this movie. Um, like I said, it was in select theaters. Obviously, I didn't go to see it. It was, it was, I guess, from what I could gather, it was supposed to come out in 2020. But then everything's got screwed up because of the virus. So um, we'll see where it goes with the theaters these days, uh, this year, the next year. Uh, because of the virus and they're opening everything up and vaccines and blah, 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 blah. But, um, yeah, overall, great movie. Um, not like one of something like up here, but it's definitely, you know, above the middle. It was definitely good. It was enjoyable is what I'm saying. So, um, please like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon and um, I'll have something else out. I don't know what, but uh, I, uh, in the meantime, I want you to know I love you all and uh, it's cool.